so now let's start with the top layer over in your mirror cube so first you'll have to get the cross which is of the yellow well we don't know if it is yellow it's the same thing but on your 3 by 3 rubik's cube the one with the colored so why am i showing you on the 3 by 3 because over here the because of the colors you'll recognize them very easily and quickly and then you can just blindly follow the algorithms over here too so over here for getting the cross you can get some cases which i have shown over here first is you can get an l kind of shape l kind of case which is like this the l l shape case very famous next is you can get the line case which is this case and finally you can get the full done so let's first start with the dot case so for the dot case choose any side at the front and then do the algorithm f or u r prime u prime and f prime so over here you have got the l shape case so for the l shape case to solve it you can follow a uh, two methods one is a bit of an extended method and one is a short method so let's first start with the short method and then we'll go on to the extended method so the short method you first want to hold one of them facing you and one of them facing at your right and then you want to do f small what is f small this the normal f and the middle f at the same time so f small then r u r prime u prime and that's an f small prime and over here you can see i've got the cross they might not match with these uh, you know these center pieces but this is your cross done but what if what if you have the line case so let me just quickly get the line case uh, let me show you so over here you have got the line case it might somehow look like this so for solving this you will have to hold one of the lines and at your right side and one at your left and then by having the not match over here you want to do f or u or prime and u prime and f prime so this was all but remember for the l shape case i told you i'll show you an extended method so let, let me again get the l shape case and i'll show you the extended method so extended method is you want to hold one of the l shapes at your left and one at your back then you want to do f or u or prime u prime and then you'll get the line case you know how to solve the line case now one end at your left and one end at your right and then f or u or prime u prime f prime so over here you have seen you have finished the top layers first step and now the next step is going to be you'll have to get these corners so before starting that let me just tell you you'll have to orient these not orient them you'll have to get these pieces at their proper places how by you know using your mind so you can see this piece this is proper but of course it's not fitting at these two is it so this piece needs a big bit place which is over here and this piece this piece the one which is at the big piece needs this and this piece which is at the pieces of this this has to come over here so what you can do is first you know get them at the correct places so first you want this to be come over here so first we'll take this piece over here so that this corner piece can be solved and this corner piece will come over here so let's quickly do it and how you'll have to hold both of them on your right side not like this but like this and then you'll have to do the right algorithm three times twist the cube and do the l algorithm three times so let's quickly do the right algorithm three times now so r u r prime u prime r u r prime u prime r u r prime and u prime 
So you can see we have done it once. I mean the right algorithm three times. Now let's move the cube like this and let's do the left algorithm three times. So L prime, U prime, L and U. L prime, U prime, L and U. L prime, U prime, L and U. So over here, um, well, you know, this is going to be like this. Let's just move it once. And over here, this is at the correct place. Even this is at the correct place, but these two need a bit of a switching. So again, you want to follow the same method, which is the right algorithm three times and the left algorithm three times. So I'll quickly do it and we'll move on to the next case after getting these to the correct places. And then we'll have to orient these corners. So I have flipped these two pieces and let me tell you what happened. So over here, when you flip this piece over here, you're like, if you flip this corner piece, this is going to be correct. And I know it has to come over here. Why? Because you can see these black pieces, you know, this back space means something is going to come over here. So if you look at for these two pieces, there's no black space around it, but there's this piece. So that means a tall piece like this or this or this has to come over here so that you can get a proper cube like you can see over here. So now for orienting these or flipping them correctly, you'll first have to get this corner, I mean this middle piece down and you'll have to get one of the corners which you want to flip at your right bottom. And then you'll have to do the right algorithm till it flips properly. So R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, and U prime. So over here, you can see after flipping it, you have got it over here. It's not going to be like if you do the right algorithm only two or three times or the four times like I did, it's going to come properly. No, it has to be proper with this center. You know, this all is going to be flipped. Let's look if it is properly matched with the center. And over here it is. Now you move on to the next piece, which is this. So you don't flip the cube. Never do that. Or else that's going to get you in the parity. Or else you, it's going to get you cube jumped. You'll have to get this piece in your right bottom, current right bottom. And then you'll have to do R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime and U prime. So over here, which is two tries that came down. And a very easy way to remember this is, well, if you have it over here and you did the right algorithm two times, see if it is fl not flipping properly or is it proper? If it is not proper, you'll have to do the right algorithms two times again. And you can see it will get proper if it didn't happen in two. And for the next piece, it will be only two if over here you got it four times. So this is a <coughs> <coughs> sorry. So this is a very easy method which you can remember for getting the um, orienting or flipping these corners. Now you will have the last case um, edges problem. So this was our um, like you know the part three of our top layer complete okay so let's do the last step of this cube and the last step also has many cases whoa this cube really has a lot of cases right tell me in the comment section below if it does so over here you can see one of the side is properly planed but not the others not the other three so this is the case which you will get in the three by three one of the colors are solved but the rest of the three are not so over here you know, you in this cube, if you know how to solve the last step using my method, you first have to um, find which one has the opposite of the colors. So you can see orange and pink. It has pink for me, but it's it might be red or pink for you also. So pink is the opposite of orange. It really is. See, pink is the opposite of orange. So that means this piece is an opposite. But how do we know it over here? We'll have to turn this piece twice. So you can see, let's get the small piece over here and see if it is matching. Yes. 
so that means our opposite is on our right side which is not the case over here i'll just get i'll just get it okay so now we have the opposite on our right side same as this so what we'll do is a very simple algorithm which is m twice and you can see the opposite which is are uh, this piece but in the 3 by 3 it is this you'll have to get it forward then an m dash then again a u2 then m and remember we got the one which had like you know the opposite front we just have to do it again like that and then do m twice see that algorithm was easy now let's follow it on to this cube so again m2 and as this one has the opposite we'll have to get it forward then again m once m dash once then u2 m up then again the opposite was on our right side so we'll again get the one which is on the right front and bring these two down see if you have that case you might have solved it till now but you're not always not going to get that case you're going to get oh, another one so let me quickly get the case in this cube and this cube okay so this will be your second case and after this you're going to get two more cases as i told you before this cube has many cases so this case instead of having the opposite on your right side this time you have the opposite on your left so basically you do the same thing the m2 and the opposite which is this comes to your forward and then you do an m dash u2 m and you can see um the opposite was on our left side so we'll again get it on the front and then do m twice so now let's follow the same algorithm in our mirror cube so mirror cube again you can see the opposite as on our left side how we know it we did um u2 and it matched this big piece matched so again m2 then the opposite one in the front then m dash u2 m then u and then m dash 2 see that was easy now over here you're going to get two more cases so i'll quickly get the cases and i'll show you guys so over here i've got another pair of the 3 by 3s because you know it takes kind of a time to get these and what if you have the last case you know for safety so over here this case is some case in where you have none of them matched none of a flat face and well yes you don't have any flat face so i have made the case over here too so over here you just blindly want to do m twice u you don't have to follow the one which is opposite because none of them are going to be opposite so u m dash u2 m u and m dash t so after you do that you will get one of the sides done and then we'll look after that so let's do the first getting one side plane in this cube too so first m2 u and dash u2 m u and m dash 2 so you can see one flat flat face done in both of them and you're going to have one of the opposites like on your left or your right side even if you have it on your right side i'm sure you might know how to do it so for me now i have it on my left side so i'll have to do the left side algorithm so first m2 the opposite in the front m dash u2 m u dash and two times m now now Let's move on to our next case, which is all of them the opposites. Okay, so let's start with the last case, which is all of them which are opposite in this cube too. So what you basically do is you do 
the same algorithm with a bit of a modifications so m2 then u then this time um when you have one flat place you do it just once m dash but this time you have to do it two times then u2 then m dash m m2 again u and bring it back down twice that's easy and over here how do you get to know that this uh, the opposite case because if you try to get this piece over here you can see this piece is matching this piece is matching this and this except for these corners so that means you'll have to fix the edges so now again m2 now you want to do it new m dash 2 u2 m2 u and m dash 2 see this cube is actually easy if i tell you this is very easy because once you get to know the algorithms and the pieces properly you will get it right so i'm telling you scramble this cube up again and try to solve it this time without my video but if you have a problem sure come back on this video and then solve it so this is address asset cuber signing off with the magic cube 3x3 done